welcome back to astro health so we are going to leo today for those born between 22nd july and 23rd august and uh, leos have this habit of taking the plunge they are quite lazy like the lion and uh, sometimes though not really known to them and even others they suffer from some sort of a nervous breakdown and uh, they have this uh, uh, migraine headaches and uh, sometimes uh, pain near the hip joint sometimes it is known as sciatica and uh, the salt which is deficient in them is the magnesium phosphate and in general if they consume more of those eatables which contain a good quantity of magnesium they can really develop the kind of immunity which they require and the homeopathic medicine for them is basically the mag force and magnesium force 3x just two times taken daily can build a lot of strength inside leos now we were uh, discussing planets in the analytic degree that is 29th or 30th of, of a sign and uh, the results thereof if sun is positioned in such an analytic degree of any sign for that matter uh, the individuals have to deal with a major unfulfilled drive for self-expression incidentally more so for leos but incidentally we are, we are talking about this today and uh, each time the sun is set off the saturn or any of the outer planets uh, Jupiter is instrumental in this process, stimulating past memories and karmic conditions that must be dealt with if these people are to expand in self-expression. So, if the astrologer finds Sun Ravi in an analytic degree, he can predict by saying that uh, you have a lot of urge for self-expression which is not getting fulfilled and sometimes even if you know the answer uh, generally this is uh, applicable to students who know the answer but do not mark it well and sometimes even if they know what to say they don't say it in front of others they lack in that strength so that uh, takes away a percentage of success in life and if you identify such a situation immediately you are supposed to examine the position of Jupiter Guru and Saturn and you can suggest remedies by reading the position of Jupiter and Saturn in the horoscope so you'll be doing a good job if you're really guiding students in their career not only students even those who are uh, into professions uh, sometimes even I have seen uh, uh, quite learned and accomplished individuals who have, have said that yes I wasn't able to say that somebody else said it he scored and I couldn't do it so that is because you have this analytic sum or Ravi in a degree like 29th or 30th in any of the signs, any of the 12 signs. More so, it is the Lagna, the second 
or the fifth. Now we have one question and one answer. This is a very interesting question today. The question is whether one becomes famous in life can be judged from a horoscope. And uh, what is the simplest way of saying, look here gentlemen, you're going to be quite a famous person. Yes, the answer is very simple. Uh, first and foremost, let us be very clear about what is being famous all about. You want your uh, photograph to be published somewhere in a newspaper or in an article or maybe you somebody should be talking about you, of course, talking well about you. Or uh, if somebody chants your name, the other person should say, oh yes, I know him, he's a great person. Is that all? That's not the idea. The point here is, if you have, say, 130 crores of Indians, not all 130 can be famous. Right? Expecting all of them to be famous is also not uh, in, the fitness of, in the fitness of things. But yes. There is a yoga which uh, is known as the Satkirti Yoga. That is, uh, the person should be known for his good deeds and he should be famous for all good things. Somebody says, Subara or Apara, nice person, yeah. That itself is uh, quite important. Satkirti Chinna Samsayha. And again, Kirti Mruddhim Dadatum, that's what we say in Sri Sukhram. It's not it's not bad or worrisome to be worried about being famous. We should be known for our goodness and righteousness. And of course, if you are into the media or you are into the tinsel world, or maybe uh, you are a creative person, you are an artist, you are a writer or a singer. And if you belong to the arts, there is absolutely nothing wrong in uh, aspiring to be famous. And uh, what are the configurations which uh, determine this particular aspect of human life? Well, if you see the horoscope, if moon is in the 10th house, that is from Lebna, Chandra is in 10th house, and the 10th lord, the owner of the 10th house, he is in trine from moon that is 5th or ninth, and the Lagna Lord is in a Kendra, then the person is well known, is quite famous. The second uh, configuration is a simpler one. The Lagna Lord, the Lord of the Ascendant has to be in the 10th house, and the 10th Lord should be aspected by Guru. Now, in what way the person becomes famous is for the astrologer to read. I'm just giving you the configurations for such uh, uh, so, such a delineation in astrology. The third combination is the tenth lord in the eleventh house. The Lagna lord, lord of the ascendant, is in the tenth house, and moon. Chandra is positioned in the fifth house from right now. Now these are wonderful combinations for Satkirti. It's famous for all good things. But that's not all. There are some other combinations, but in in principle, uh, an astrologer refers to these three configurations in a horoscope to examine when whether one becomes famous or not. When and how. That depends on the transitions, the transits, and a lot of other factors. So that's all for today. See you next time. Keep watching. Thank you. Mm -hmm.